Hi guys, this is a quick video. My name is Mark and uh, I would like to um, talk to you about something that uh, I think is interesting and uh, I know it's a boring uh, topic, the politics, but I think this is quite interesting and positive. So first of all I would like to apologize for my accent. Unfortunately I'm not a native uh, English native speaker. And what I'd like to discuss today is uh, called the Movimento a Cinque Stelle, which uh, I guess is usually translates in English as a five star movement, where five stars are an indication of excellence uh, in the view of the founders of the movement. Now, the reason I'm talking about this is because it has become a big thing, thing in Italy because they managed to collect a lot of votes in the last round of the administrative elections. They got key people in three, uh, in three cities. One is a very big city for Italian standard that uh, it's called Parma. And it is a very interesting movement because it's not a canonical party, but it's actually be funded by uh, people uh, belonging to a particular blog. And to spicing things up, this blog uh, is being founded by uh, a comedian, which uh, sounds kind of uh, strange, but that's the reality of the thing. Now, this comedian uh, is called Beppe Grillo, and he's a brilliant comedian. And uh, recently, well, a few years ago, he started to bring forward new ideas about environment, the use of energy, and uh, progress and development. Now, it also started uh, a lot of accusations towards the uh, stale and old Italian political class. And uh, he managed to uh, gather a big following of people and uh, finally organized them uh, in a political movement with a very clear program, uh, which is becoming rooted uh, in the population, especially uh, at the regional level. And why I think is interesting, it's because it's something that's unheard of, it's something that's really new uh, in the Italian political scene, uh, and it's something that it's, it's nice to mention to people outside of Italy, because normally we can make fun of the Italian uh, political scene because it's very old uh, and it's uh, corrupted and it's normally a very bad image outside of Italy I know because I've been working and living outside Italy for more than six years by now. However, uh, every now and then things like this happen and this movement it's something really refreshing and it's a way for people to uh, exert direct control on politics and uh, to take in their own hands their destiny uh, considering that in Italy we have an electoral law which doesn't allow you to directly vote for candidates but you have to vote for parties and then the party can autonomously uh, without consulting the people uh, elect whoever they want which I think is rubbish Anyway, sorry for this. Um, so it's it's interesting to know that the the success of this movement is actually scaring uh, the major party, both left wing and, and and right wing, and it's taking votes away from them, especially from the left wing. I think because uh, a lot of people who are actually uh, who are joining this movement. Uh, are normally liberal people from the left wing. I might be wrong, so don't quote me on that, but that's my feeling. Now, uh, a very interesting thing about that as well is that this movement uh, is a very low budget movement and uh, it hasn't been advertised so much as the other uh, parties we have in Italy and yet it's managed to uh, is managed to achieve uh, a really high degree of success to the point uh, that uh, even famous newspaper like the New York Times has, have taken notice of this uh, and in my clip I have uh, a patch and a few pictures showing the, an article from the New York Times which is talking about uh, this, this movement and Beppe Grillo and uh, I suggest you go and read it because it's very interesting uh, and the other thing is, I believe this could be a, a very interesting development because uh, besides the novelty, it's directly empowering people. 
uh, and they can uh, use internet which is a relatively free environment to advertise themselves and to uh, you know get ideas around without uh, being censored by the main media because the main media uh, it's easier to control for political parties and people in the government because they can di either directly influence it or even indirectly influence it. You know, people, journalists can you know auto censor themselves because they don't want to get on the bad side of you know, people in power. That's possible. And the uh, internet is not like that. And also, if I say something stupid, like if you know if what I'm saying to you that now is rubbish, then people can correct me. And this is possible. Why in the media nobody can correct you because in order to correct something that uh, a journalist has said, I need to get access to that media, uh, get a space uh, in that broadcasting, and say, you know, my opinion. And hopefully it doesn't get butchered and um, you know cut in uh, and to make it seems like it's the complete opposite of what I wanted to say. So. Uh, I would be very interested in, in you guys' opinion. You know, uh, first of all, I think this is very positive things for Italy, and I think it. I hope it continues, and I hope it expands. Uh, but I also, you know, would like to know if in your countries you have something similar. If you think that internet could be something that we want to revolutionize politics, or if it's something you know that uh, canonical uh, parties should be uh, scared of. Um, I would like to know what you think about this, and I would like to know what the future of internet is going to be. You know, if 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 internet uh, is going to become a way to do politics, or uh, and and if you know the main parties, the government will start to try to censor it, in, because the obvious consequence of this is that uh, if this kind of movement can arise from internet, then the major power will want uh, either a cut of it, or they will want uh, to stop it. Because they're uh, actively, you know, hindering their plans. Anyway, uh, thanks for listening to this long ramble, and um, have a nice day.